Okay, everybody, girls don't always get taught how to use everyday tools from a young age like boys do, but it doesn't mean they can't handle a drill or a saw. And at my house, it's important that they can handle a drill <laughs> and a saw and a lot more. At a recent camp, girls got to learn and practice the skills of designers, carpenters, and engineers, and that all sounds good, Betsy. Right, and it it's kind of harkening back to the old <laughs> days. As a matter of fact, the, the camp was called Rosie's Girls Camp based on Rosie the Riveter. Remember her, the World War II icon? who represented women who were working in factories to support the war effort. These are 6th, 7th, and 8th grade girls from school districts across Lorain County. They're Rosie's girls. Across the state, 19 of these camps were held in 15 different counties, including here at Lorain County Community College. The goal here is to empower the campers to learn new skills, become more confident, and learn how to use tools like drills, hammers, and saws. Me and my sister like love to build. Whatever pops up in my mind is just I either want to build or draw. Instead of like calling someone to help you, you can like instead of them like you paying them money and stuff, you could do it yourself. So I feel like if I am learning this stuff, I can prove it to them that I can do the same exact stuff as men can do. And this is real hands-on learning. The girls printed their own t-shirts, made name tags on a laser cutter, and will get a taste of welding and working with robotics. Various tools also help them to design, make, paint, and decorate these wooden butterflies. And science and math come into play here too. They learned about butterfly habitats, did a little chemistry by mixing paint, and used their math skills when measuring. You know, measure twice and cut once. Ann Bort is the lead artist and teacher. She says this camp is opening up possibilities for these girls because this isn't something girls traditionally get to do and her campers love it. Well, I think that one thing parents need to just work with their kids and build things, make things and just find opportunities for the kids, find out what the kids like to do and want to do. I mean, everything isn't soccer and ballet and whatever. There's a you know whole world out there. I love power I tools. <laughs> oh, I don't. No, I, I thought you were going to say I love that story. No, I do too. I love that. We had a, a fence break in the pasture the other uh, like Cheryl, a week get ago. right out there and get Cheryl on. Cheryl had a drill <laughs> that I gave girl. her for Christmas, <laughs> and she was like there, and I went, I am right behind you. No crockpot. Twenty pot feet for her. behind you. No, no. Yeah. No crockpot. I, I think that's great. Give that me a sawzall. Great. So you go out there, you do it. I love power tools. Okay, I do stuff all the time. I grew up, my dad was a woodworker, so oh, he well, always go. let us go and down he, and tinker in that stuff. He did. Oh, it's a little great. scary, but you know what? As long as you're following the rules and keeping your fingers away from the blades, you're going to be just fine. Go. Give it Good. a try. It's very fun to do.